This is a shape of flame that is. The shape of natural gas at work. A bustling, brawny shape with all the raw heat it takes to keep molten metal pouring hot. Big as it is, gas flame like this is highly flexible. We can put the heat where we want it. The flame retention nozzles on these burners produce very high flame temperatures. When it comes time to pour, these ladles will have hot lips. Some jobs call for a more delicate touch. Natural gas has got that too. This rotary drum dryer may be big, but it's no match for a bank of gas-fired pepper pot burners. External firing is the answer for drying contaminable materials. Direct flame impingement speeds up heat transfer. An adjustment in flame geometry, and we have a single flame, long enough and hot enough to uniformly dry 35 tons of sand an hour. It's possible to overdo a good thing. Too much heat here and the TV tube will lose its shape. Too little and the neck won't weld. The tolerance span is extremely narrow. And it is narrower still in the manufacture of miniature lamps. From billowing blazing heat in primary metals processing to the pinpoint precision glass manufacture requires, we force the flame into whatever form we want. cut, melt, solder, fuse, braze, and we can even automate the process. Gas can be manhandled, too. At the other end of the scale, Natural gas burns with brute force in a scarfing operation, strong enough to cut through steel. This time, an oxygas mixture creates a hot and powerful flame that preheats, burns out, and blasts away surface defects in the slab of steel. With a helping hand from gas, 132 times a minute a cosmetic bottle emerges from this five-section double gob machine. Gas heats the belt that feeds the annealing layer in which glass is brought to room temperature. Gas preheats the molds in which the bottles themselves are formed. Gas fires the melting furnace in which molten glass is ready. Wherever heat is needed, gas does the job. There are upwards of 25,000 ways in which gas is now used in industry. There are literally hundreds of gas burners, and for each there is a distinctive pattern of flame. For years, we have taken advantage of the plasticity of gas to fashion a flame geometry that will be precisely appropriate for each task. Today, flame is finding new shapes in rock and slag melting, in ore beneficiation, in foundry iron melting, in powdered metallurgy, and a host of new applications, but we're still barely scratching the surface of the shape of flames to come. In many laboratories like this one at the Institute of Gas Technology, the shape of flame to come is being determined by chemistry, aerodynamics, and a host of techniques formerly foreign to flame. In the fuel cell under study here, that shape is a chemical reaction in which natural gas produces electricity at a high efficiency level. In the search for tomorrow's technology, a new family of ceramic gas mantles is under serious study. They provide highly efficient illumination, and they illuminate with clarity the mechanics of combustion. One shape of flame to come may well look like this. Another will look something very much like it, 
but it is heat, not light, we want from this particular device. This is an infrared generator. It heats by radiant energy, and it's getting hotter all the time. This is how combustion begins in the new Inconel infrared burners. Gas burns between a pair of fine mesh screens until heat is liberated through the Inconel to cause intense radiation in the far, far infrared range. Such burners operate at 1,200 to 2,700 degrees Fahrenheit. Another advance in infrared technology is the ceramic mat burner. Consider it one more promise of lower cost process heat. Radiant energy generators don't work like most gas burners. Rather than convection, they heat by radiation, using their heat of combustion to raise the temperature of a metal or ceramic to a point at which radiation will occur. When tomorrow's flames shape up, you can safely bet that infrared burners will be among them. The future also holds a new square flame. It will be used to heat makeup air with clean combustion and tight temperature control. Some flames in the laboratory have yet to find their uses. This one is produced by a unique burner design in which velocity past the burner actually shortens the length of flame. Even at low fire, this burner maintains its flame stability. A high-low torch burner under lab test dramatizes the controllability of gas. The shape of flame to come will be round as well as square. The familiar nozzle mix burners that fire boilers the wide world over undergo constant improvement in the search for more heat at lower cost. Sometimes that search leads us to completely new and promising concepts. This is a flat flame burner in which a spinning air gas stream forces the flame back against the burner face. As it swirls down from high fire, you can see the tiny pilot that ignites this exciting new design. Here's still another version of this new achievement in flame geometry. See how its flames are smoothed flat against the wall. The important thing to remember about the natural gas flame is that we can do almost anything with it, and we've just begun to do it. Industry uses more than half of all the natural gas produced in the United States today. And natural gas provides industry with more energy than any other fuel. The heat requirement of a steel mill furnace is tremendous by any standards. But the gas flame has got what it takes to keep a 30-foot ingot glowing hot and ready for the forge press. In the laboratories of a score of burner manufacturers, on the drafting tables of process engineers, Growth in industrial application of gas goes on year after year. To the economy, the reliability, the cleanliness, and ease of handling that has always marked the use of natural gas in industry, we can add a new dimension of engineering ingenuity. We can put far greater facilities to work to solve any production problem involving heat. Those who make gas burning equipment those who supply it with fuel, and those who design the processes are working in a natural partnership, working with natural gas to shape the flames to come. Where will the flames to come come from? 
The flames will come from the natural gas industry, from the hundreds of gas utilities serving the United States, from your own gas utility. And the shape of those flames will come from the jobs industry asks us to do.